All over the world, there's one thing you hear, whether it's Tunisia, Egypt before and after the, uh, the revolution thing. Um, <laughs> no matter where you go, everyone says the same thing. My internet connection sucks. Um, and except for, okay, maybe some folks in like some of the cities in Denmark, this is like just like a constant refrain. Um, but everyone complains on the internet. I mean, it's what it's for. I think there's an RFC for that. Um, but nobody really does anything about it. So some people, a group called the Measurement Lab, decided to do something about it. And Google worked with them uh, to provide storage and computational capacity. And it, it, it's a pretty amazing effort, and I wanted to tell you about it. Um, you'll remember I've stood on the stage before and talked about your work in open source, talked about popularity of languages, and then I talked about specifically how prolific some of you are in 2010. 2011, I slept in um, and considered that I should probably swear less on stage. Damn it. And, um, and this year, I decided to talk about your bandwidth, as it were. And I like to sort of like jazz it up with some quizzes and stuff to wake you guys up, because it's Friday morning. You were out late last night playing poker and uh, you know having a good time. So let's get started. Um, what is the measurement lab? So all over this world, they, they did something really smart with measurement lab. They attached the measurement lab client to a popular BitTorrent program. Uh, so we have three million clients worldwide. And over the last three years, we've collected a little over 400 terabytes of data. This data is available to all of you. Uh, whether you use Google's storage mechanisms or AWS, you can get a copy of it. It's licensed under a proper license for data, uh, Creative Commons Zero. Um, and we also uh, provide an awful lot of CPU for doing analysis, too. So if you visit the website, you'll see how to go about this. And we recently cracked open about 200,000 uh, to pay for uh, new clients and new research grants for academics or for enterprising individuals. So why would you actually care about this? I mean, it's nice to know that the internet sucks uh, or is maybe awesome. Um, but who are we? We're just cogs in this great machine. And so what we try to do is we try to get this information before regulators at the FCC, uh, across the EU, and all over the world. Uh, and this is a, the part that kind of makes me angry, too. Um, you can all help. Before I talk about how, I'm a little upset. Uh, you can all help. You can download the NDT client. Go to the Measurement Lab website. You can download it right now from the Android market. I'm sure there's something on iOS, but you know I don't use the iPhone. So, um, but just look for the FCC OOKLA, O-O-K-L-A, and you'll find one of the Measurement Lab clients there in the Android Play Store. But why am I angry? Let me tell you why. So, uh, this is Vince Cerf. How many of you recognize Vince Cerf? Yes. Those of you who don't, when people talk about the man who created the internet, this is the man. Uh, he's the architect, if you will. Um, and Vint has been a huge backer of Measurement Lab for a very long time, and he sent off a message recently uh, to his friends on the internet. And he said, you know, support Measurement Lab. The FCC is trying to default to a state of taking data, frankly, uh, from the entrenched interests who are more interested in closing their data and saying, no, 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 the internet's fine. We're providing exactly the bandwidth that people need, and we're doing great. Go, go team. And so Vince said, well, these are nice people, because Vince's like the nicest man in the world. He said, these are nice people, but we really do need the open solution, the one that everyone can analyze, to be the one that the FCC uses. And in response, uh, David Rogers, who's Verizon's chief public policy lobbyist, called Vince a liar. Yeah, said he was a hysterical liar in his response. So I just like to say to David and the other people, this is actually important. Having the data out there for everyone to examine is very important. And calling Vint Cerf a liar is a really bad idea. So. I really like Vint. And Vint does have a posse. And he told me how much he weighed for this picture. So, <laughs> so he's a man of great humor. But let's get to the, the fun part of this discussion. So take a look into measure, uh, Measurement Lab. It'll be worth your time. You can run it a couple times on your network. 
uh, at your home, at your work, and it'll give us all kinds of great information about latency and throughput and all the things that we actually care about when creating telecom policy. So if you could do that, that would be fantastic. Um, what's the quiz about? It's really about media and download throughput. What's a consistent download rate that you can get on a network? Um, so that's what we're going to be talking about today. So, for instance, which Portland do you think is faster, Oregon or Maine? If you think it's Oregon, raise your hand and it would clap. If you think it's Maine, so actually Oregon wins. So. <laughs> with an aggregate score almost a full megabit per second faster uh, than your cold, cold brothers in Maine uh, and sisters. Although, I don't know, is it colder here than in Portland, Maine? I don't know. Right now, yes. Right now, yes? Okay, well, thank you, Dirk. Um, so, that, that's cute. So you know how it works now. So I'm gonna say, okay, who do you think is the fastest? If you think it's Salem, start clapping. Everyone's like, Salem? Okay, if it's Eugene, start clapping. Do you call them Eugenians? What, what, do, you, what do you call people? Uh, <laughs> Eugeniuses? That's cute, yeah. Uh, Corvallis. And you'll see Salem. These are all faster than Portland, by the way. <laughs> uh, at 15 megabits per second on average. And I should point out that none of these numbers are specious. Uh, they all come from uh, data sets of at least 200 clients, so we know they're pretty accurate. And, and if you don't think so, all the data is there for you to analyze, unlike <coughs> Verizon's data. <coughs> so, Comcast, oh, here in town, if you feel that Comquest, uh, Comquest, oh, that's, that's, that's a scary vision of the future, huh? Uh, <laughs> Uh, think of the Wall Street scandals that'll lead to that sucker. Uh, okay, so clap if you feel that Comcast is the fastest here in town. <laughs> clap if you feel Quest is the fastest here in Portland. Oh, is it CenturyLink now? All right, uh, Clearwire. There's like one guy who's like, I love my Clearwire. <laughs> um, well. It is actually Comcast. So uh, this is one of those things where it's like, you know, Clearwire, the Clearwire guy's like, I'm canceling that shit, man. <laughs> and, and there's the swearing. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Seattle, a fine town, home of a great crumpet shop and a coffee chain that isn't Stumptown, I guess. So Portland, start clapping. If you think Portland's faster. Seattle. Portland. Oh, that's right. In your face, northern neighbors near Vancouver. So, um, yeah, so Seattle, it, it, they're actually pretty close. Uh, so, but still, Portland does beat Seattle on average. Um, Oregon or New York, uh, so Oregon State or New York State? Clap if it's Oregon. <laughs> New York. So that's about even. That's about even to me. Uh, in this case, it's actually New York, so uh, by quite a bit on average, by the way. Uh, I think it's because they're really compressed in that escape from New York-esque landscape of theirs. Um, so that's New York. Uh, Oregon or Delaware? So clap if it's Oregon. You guys are like, he's tricking us again. Uh, or clap if you think it's Delaware. I think it's because of all the credit card companies, but yes, Delaware, you know, so the problem is you think to yourself, okay, how many people are in Delaware? Well, we do know it's more than 200 clients reporting, but is that all of Delaware? You know, who, who lives in Delaware? No, all right, um, I've been to Delaware. It's, it's, a, it's a state. <laughs> um, I'm kidding, my friends in Delaware. I actually really liked part of it. Um, they have grass farms in Delaware, so when you drive through Delaware, you'll suddenly come across like the largest front lawns you'll ever see. It's really kind of interesting, and they're like bright green. You're like, oh, geez, you know? Um, so, clap if you feel that California is faster than Alabama. 
Clap if you feel Alabama is faster than California. Okay, so this is actually a little shameful for my home state. Uh, it, Alabama is slightly faster on average than California, so yes, it's true. Uh, I have an employee actually in Alabama, I'm sure, I don't know if he's in the room, but uh, this is right up his alley, so. Um, okay, Lithuania or the United States? Or Lithuania. Yeah. Wow. Okay, United States. I am simply shocked at your patriotism. <laughs> I just, I mean, Lithuania, really? <laughs> Lithuania is awesome! All right, let's keep going. Any other, European Any other European country? How about Canada? Is that European? No. Uh, <laughs> so, Canada. It's funny, I didn't know that Canadians could have an accent when saying woo. Um, uh, United States. It, it, it's actually United States. So, that said, Canada has better latency. I don't know why. Um, <laughs> So, uh, here we go. The United States or Bulgaria? Bulgaria. <laughs> you guys are not falling for it again. Uh, United States. <laughs> well, it turns out, yes, okay. Bulgaria is a little behind us, but not by much. It's still better than Portland, but not by much. <laughs> <laughs> it's not fair to really compare a whole country. Uh, okay, Belgium, another B country. United States. <laughs> it really is early for you guys, isn't it? Um, Belgium. So, <laughs> Belgium is really fast. Uh, so yeah, it, it's kind of amazing. So, Denmark. This is in Europe, Dirk. Okay, Belgium. Kind of about equal, you know? So, Belgium. But Denmark is number two, which is why I had it up there. Uh, Denmark has been fighting for the one or two spot with other countries now for many years. They have, a, they have a pretty evolved telecom policy, if you ask me. Oh, and they use MLab, who knew? Uh, I did. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, Meredith Whitaker and Tiziana Rafise uh, were super awesome, and they actually do all the work, and I stand up here and make jokes. So, they're fairly awesome and are the brains at Google who work on this stuff and who gave me my numbers. That said, you all could have cheated, you know, those of you with laptops open. You could have just gone to the measurement lab site and found out all of these questions before even clapping. So, slackers. Um, thank you, and uh, I'd like to say, before I leave, uh, thank you for your work on open source. Um, it's really, really important still. And even though we've won in so many ways, uh, the reason we continue to win is because of your work. So thank you, and uh, have a great day. So.